Labor's star candidate for the New South Wales seat of Monero, Terry Campisi, has broken his silence to Sky News for the first time since pulling out of the race for the high-profile seat. Speaking exclusively with Erin Molan this afternoon, the former Radar star defended that infamous sex party as he drew attention to his advocacy work. This is the video that marked the downfall of Terry Campisi's campaign. Dressed as a scantily clad police officer, the former NRL star was spotted at a sex party which featured a spank station. Two weeks on, he's withdrawn his candidacy. Why did you stand down? Yeah, it took some, um, you know, a couple of days to come to this decision. Um, yeah, it was obviously, uh, we've had some some um, stories leaked on, you know, f through um, some people that, you know, obviously aren't there for the community. They don't want to, to think of the good things, the good news stories. Um, there, there's been, you know, a lot of digging around to try and um, come up with some of these stories. Speaking exclusively uh, with Sky's Erin Molan, the now former Labor candidate addressed that party. Do I wish the video didn't get out? Is it embarrassing for the kids? You know, when you read the headlines and see some of the pictures, yes, it is. But it was just a cheeky theme. Uh, we went to this birthday party and had a good time. And the nail in his political coffin, yeah, a story about him visiting a friend and convicted drug dealer in jail to raise money for his youth charity. And I'll stick by him and I'll, and I'll be there till the end, until he's out. And I'm still really good friends with his family. So... Why is the story about um, going to visit him and not about the really good work that this jail has done? Denying he was pressured by Labor to go, he says it's time to focus on his advocacy and his family. The community has got behind me. The, the amount of messages, my battery went flat at 2 o'clock this afternoon, the first time in, in my life that my phone has just been exploded with You mean even uh, when you made so. your State of Origin debut? More, more messages than that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Actually, it's true. But isn't ruling out running as an independent in the future? Julia Bradley, Sky News, Sydney.